making new outfits with what you already have in your closet. Hi everyone, my name is Christy. I'm a personal stylist and today we're gonna to be covering how to shop through your closet to make brand new fresh outfits from what you already own. This is something I cover with my clients all the time and in a lot of my online programs because your closet is filled with outfit possibilities. So when women come to me and say, Christy, I have nothing to wear while they're staring at a full closet of clothes, I know there's a way around this situation. So we are going to work through my closet or I'm gonna find some new outfits based on some outfit inspiration that I found online. So let's jump in. All right, now I've picked out three outfits or images uh, online. If you're searching for images for inspiration, make sure it's something that you think you also would be really, really excited to wear. Because I tell you all, all the time, that it's not about the clothing, but how the clothing makes you feel. So while it's nice to have a new outfit in your closet, you wanna check in with yourself and also make sure that you're asking yourself, like, does this represent my highest and best self? Do I feel beautiful when wearing it? Does this make me feel a high vibe when I'm wearing this outfit? If it doesn't, consider moving on and trying something else. That is what style is all about, is experimenting and playing. So I found three, and I'm gonna put the first one up on the screen that has this really beautiful woman who's wearing this nice, relaxed sort of uh, white trouser, white blazer, and white crop top. Now she's got bare feet because she's just at, at home, but I really love the informal elegance of this look or this this picture when you're looking at an image really break down what is it about it that you like so first of all for me it was that this image was again that informal glamour right she has a little bit of a sparkle to the top it looks like she's got some pretty jewelry on she got a really pretty clip in her hair um but it still looked elegant that's what i really like about it so the soft like femininity and elegance is what really shines through in this outfit to me now when i look at the individual pieces of this outfit what i see are beautiful classics so i see a nice wide leg trouser which you guys know I'm obsessed with. I also see a beautiful white blazer, another good classic for the wardrobe. And then what she's done actually to make this look a little bit more trendy is she's taken a traditional tank, at least that's what it looks like anyway, and she's rolled it under and tucked it underneath her bra to make it look like more of a uh, crop top. So to me, that little bit of skin and the slight nod to the trends with the crop top to me is what makes this look still seem very modern and also a little sexy too, which is what I like. And then she sort of dashed it off with some jewelry. So in terms of what I have in my closet, you guys know I love a good wide leg pant. They're one of my favorites. So I'm actually going to pull on this here. I actually steamed these recently because I wanted to wear them. These beautiful white wide leg uh, trousers. These were from Club Monaco a number of years ago. I actually really love the trousers that Club Monaco does. They do a beautiful job. So I'm gonna use this as the base for outfit number one. I think that that's really nice. Uh, now for a white blazer, um, I actually have one. I will find dupes for it and link it down below uh, as I will with any of the outfits that I put together. But this is a really good, clean, classic blazer. This is also uh, a mix of a cotton and linen blend, so it's perfect for the summertime, which I love. Again, nice, good, clean, classic, tailored piece. So I'm gonna add that as portion number two to this outfit. And then for the third portion, she's got a crop top or a tank that looks like it's tucked under. Now I don't have, um, you know, a sparkly tank that's white, although you guys know I love a good sparkle moment, but I do have crop tops. I do have crop tops. That's something new I've been trying this year, because you guys know I'm all about you guys playing and experimenting with things that interest you. That was something that interested me this year. So I'm going to grab this white crop. This is just a simple one from Zara, when I'm experimenting, I'm not going to invest in something. Uh, so this is really cute. And I think with a nice high-waisted trouser will look lovely. Now, again, even for just age appropriateness, and I say this lightly because at the end of the day, you wear whatever the hell you want. Um, but I, I like the idea of a high-waisted trouser with the crop and only showing like an inch or two of skin. Because it's not too revealing. It doesn't feel like Britney Spears circa 2000. But this would make me feel comfortable still with that uh, outfit. So I'm going to put that there. Now she has um, a statement like hair clip that she's got in her hair. I'm personally, I don't like that look on me. It's not my personal style. So again, it's not about mimicking 
a picture to a T. It's about making it your own so it fits your personal style. Love that she's got a few layered necklaces or at least that's how it looks and a simple bracelet um, to again keep it very clean, keep it very elegant, a little bit feminine. I think with like daintier layered jewelry I think has a really beautiful feminine touch. So I'm going to grab uh, kind of necklaces, maybe a little bit similar to what I have. I know I'm really casual right now, uh, but something like that I think will be really cool. And then uh, for her shoes, because she's wearing bare feet, which I'm not going to do. I feel like this is a really nice summery look. So maybe I'll grab a nice nude minimalist sandal to kind of keep the the elongating line of this monochromatic look, which I also think is really elegant. So let me grab some sandals. Okay, so here are my sandals I'm going to put on. You guys have seen these in the past few videos. Just really minimal, really clean, uh, nice and elegant. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I actually really love how this outfit turned out. This is definitely something that I would wear, so major hit for me. I love just the simple touch of layered jewelry. I added a splash of color with a clutch because hashtag color lover. <laughs> Um, and the shoes I chose actually were way too short so you can see my pants are kind of sweeping the ground but I wanted to show you the final look with them regardless so I would pick a sandal that is close to that aesthetic and a little higher but other than that love love how this turned out okay now outfit number two is such a whimsical picture to me I just think it's so dreamy and romantic it is this woman that is browsing an outdoor like bookshop at like a local craft place or something like that um, oh, I just I find it so dreamy and what I love about this picture is the romance of it now part of it is that I'm a bookworm so I love the aesthetics of the photo so be aware of things like that when you're looking at them but what I love about this outfit is its simplicity I love how feminine it is I love that it looks lightweight and carefree and it's just one of those easy effortless things to just throw on and go in the summertime now what I can see from this outfit outfit is that the base of it is a little bit more fitted and then she has this really voluminous sort of boho style top with bigger sleeves um, it's fairly shapeless up top but it gives that casual sort of laid back feel right from that easy breezy kind of look that I was talking about but what makes this whimsical is the subtle print in the skirt I think in addition to it being a little bit fitted it's that soft subtle sexiness I love that she's got dainty jewelry on in this as well I don't know if it's layered I can only see from the looks of it that she's got like a longer necklace on potentially and again for that summer feel she's got this stunning sort of straw bag sort of slouchy and she's got again her hair kind of curled because again hair is a part of our outfits as well so she's got the soft whimsical sort of feel to her hair i actually have a skirt that is not printed like this or red but again that doesn't matter um but i have a skirt that i picked up it was either last fall was it this past fall or the one before? I can't remember. Uh, that was from Banana Republic. I don't know if you guys will be able to see the subtle print in there. It's a subtle leopard print. And again, her skirt was kind of subtle print too. I like that this one's not too in your face, although you guys know I'm not afraid of that. <laughs> I love how soft this is. And I love that warm mustard uh, as well. I love golden tones in the summertime, like warm tones. It's just so rich. Now she has a really voluminous blouse on. Now I have a lot of oversized blouses, but based on the the fine material that this skirt is, I can't tuck too much volume into the waistband because it's going to show. Like you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like it's going to show. So um, what I was thinking is that I do have a very well loved blouse uh, that I picked up a few years back. It might be even be three. This was another one from Zara. Uh, that's a linen top and it's shapeless as well. It's got some voluminous sleeves. This is probably honestly on its last season because it's, it's looking a bit ratty to be quite frank. But I love how lightweight this is and because of the texture on the neckline, which I don't know if that's going to show up, but this texture on the neckline I thought was really beautiful. Gets that subtle, you know, um, like whimsical nod, I think. And I love the little ruffle details on the sleeve. Also voluminous, kind of like what she had, not to the same extent, but you gets the kind of same feel. And those ruffles, again, add that slight feminine feel to uh, the outfit. So I actually really love this and it's so perfect on hot days. This is an often go-to that I literally throw on when it's just sticky outside, which is why the shirt has been so well loved because we have a lot of those in the summer. Necklaces. 
I have to, again, because you want to make it your style. I'm not typically someone that only wears one necklace. I like, you know, the clanging of jewelry. I like layering dainty pieces to make a little bit more of a statement. So I think I can, I can envision myself getting like a longer necklace. Okay, I have something in mind. Hold on. Okay, so because she's got something dainty on, I was thinking something like this. It's a little horseshoe necklace. I found this off Etsy years ago or Etsy, however you say it. And I love it. I think it's really beautiful. But I'm, what I think I'm going to do to make it my own is also layer a few other shorter necklaces with it. So it kind of goes in tiers with that shirt. I'll see how it looks when I do it to make sure I like it. And I do actually have the perfect bag for this. This is a bag I'm currently using uh, that I love. This is from a brand called Milliner, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is based out of Italy. It is a woven uh, leather bag. And I just love the look of this. It is definitely oversized. It's not quite as sludgy as what she has, but I really, really love this bag. And if this were me in this scenario, if, like if I were to hop into this picture, uh, this would be what I would grab. Like I would grab this bag and then this skirt and top. Like, wouldn't it be cute? Ugh. And like that warm, light, like camel color, it's gonna look so beautiful against the mustard. Like, ugh, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And then because I don't know what her footwear is, because it doesn't show in the photo, for me personally, I feel like something like this would be worn with a really nice wedge. Because uh, again, a wedge to me is rather than like a typical flat sandal, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I think the wedge will add a nice elevation to the body and also create a little bit more of that feminine feel that I think is kind of going on in this photo anyway. So let's see how it looks. So I really love how this outfit turned out. I ended up opting for just two simple necklaces with this look. I wanted to keep it simple because the inspiration photo was something that didn't have a lot of jewelry, but I did decide to play with my hair a little bit. I didn't want to wrap it up in curls, but a half top knot is honestly an easy go-to for me in the summertime. And this felt very much like me. This is something I would run or wear, sorry, to grab groceries or run errands or what have you. And it felt comfortable, it felt good. I loved this interpretation of it for me. And again, shopped my own closet to do so. Now for outfit number three, the overall vibe for me in this outfit is one that is playful. Uh, you know, there's color. Uh, she's got fun accessories, a fun sort of trendy bag. Uh, it looks like she's got relatively uh, like trendy printed sandals on. I just love the vibe of this outfit. Like even her glasses are kind of funky as well. Within this, she's also using classic items. So a graphic tee, I think is a great basic to have in your closet right now. They are so interchangeable that you can dress up and down. Uh, so she's got that and the little, you know, hack she's done with it is to knot it at the small of her waist. So again, it just makes it a little bit more interesting, but she's done so at the small of the waist because it's really defining her waist here. Uh, now she's also got some wide leg culottes on. You guys know I'm a culotte fan. I know not everybody loves them, but I certainly do. And I love the length of the ones that she has here because it's almost at ankle length, which I think is flattering. So if you're going to add a horizontal line on your body, it should be ideally at the smallest point on the body, just so it's the most flattering. And uh, she's also got a really cute, like classic denim jacket. So again, nothing overly trendy, but what makes it trendy to me is the accessory. So she's got these really fun uh, white glasses. She's got really big red earrings and then the, the red bag as well that's got like the pearls on it from what it looks like is obviously very trend oriented so the first one and you guys are probably sick of seeing this but the first one that I have is the red cool odds you guys have seen these a number a number of times sorry on my channel I absolutely love these I've had them for years and years um, and I just I can't get enough I think they're absolutely spectacular so we're gonna use this as the first layer I also have a graphic tee that was inspired by this photo because I've had it for a long time in my Pinterest board as just something I know is playful and that resonates with me. And I wanted a shirt that had a little, little bit of red in it because I do have splashes of red throughout my closet and I knew it would be it would work well. So I got this shirt that you guys may have seen before that says the magic within. And it's got a little bit of rose gold as well in the writing because you guys know I love my metallics. <laughs> So I thought this was cute. I also love the saying of the shirt. It just makes me happy because I totally believe your magic is within and I'm going to use this with the red culottes as well. So we're going to put that here. 
Now, a basic denim jacket. Yes, I have that. Let's go get it. Here we are, another classic. And then for the shoes, she's got something, it's hard to see uh, based on the photo, but it actually looks like she's wearing almost like a zebra style uh, sandal, which I think is really cool. So she's kind of mixing up the prints a little bit between the graphic tee and her shoes. Actually, I have a really cute floral shoe. I'm gonna grab that. Okay, you guys, I've had these shoes forever. They were one of my, like, not my first designer shoe purchase, but Oh my gosh, I like I love these. I feel like it's me in a shoe. And it's these beautiful floral shoes from Sophia Webster. I'm going back probably at least six or seven years now. And I love these shoes. And if you can see, it's got a little splash of red at the top. And then the white, um, which I've done a full video on how to mix prints before, so I'll leave that link down below. But I love these shoes. And actually, I think this with that will look so pretty. Really, really pretty. Oh, and I love that it's got a little extra color because you guys know I'm a bit of a color lover. So I'm going to put these shoes with this outfit. I'm loving the direction of this. I think it's going to be so much fun. And then for a bag, because she's got a really trendy bag. And I actually don't, I don't know what it is. So I actually really don't like red bags. It's just not my thing. So I don't own one red bag in my closet, but that's okay because it's about making it your own. So I think for something like this, just to keep it on the trend side, I'm actually gonna grab a white bag instead. And I have one that's sort of like a camera style. Let me show you. Okay, so here we are, little camera style bag. This was something I picked up from Net-A-Porter, uh, or Net-A-Porter, sorry, early in the year. I think that this will be really cute. And I, I do like it for the summertime where we are right now. White's always a really beautiful accent. So, here we are. All right, outfit number three. Okay, outfit number three. I also love how this turned out. You know I love my graphic tee and my red culottes, so it was already a win for me. And I love just the simple hack of tying a knot at the small of the waist. Not only does it take your basic t-shirt up a notch, but it also draws the eye into the waistline, which is lovely. I found these cool funky uh, sunglasses. I actually hadn't worn in a long time. They've been in my collection for quite some time. And I just love a little nod to the trends and the playful side to it that these sunglasses add. So I draped the denim jacket over my shoulders and I love the pop that the bag and shoes add to this look. Again, it just adds a little bit of playfulness. It adds a little bit of texture and I am just so loving how this outfit turned out. And if any of you are looking for more wardrobe help and you want more style exercises like this to get you thinking out of the box so you can see more possibilities in your closet, don't forget my jumpstart your style program is available we walk through 14 different style exercises where you see me do it in my own closet and how I navigate shopping my closet in full so if you really want to see what your closet's made of and you want to crack open the possibilities so you see nothing but beautiful outfit potential because yes all closets have that then I will leave the link for that class down below and other than that my beautiful angels I'm sending you all the love to the moon and back and I will see you again in the next video bye